This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review and today we're going to take a look at Android OS 3.1 Honeycomb for the Motorola Zoom. We were lucky enough to receive that update today on our Verizon 3G version of the Motorola Zoom and it should be coming hopefully to you soon if you own a Zoom. And as you can see here, let me check, check our settings. You see that we have Android version 3.1 running. Now what does this add? This adds USB host capabilities which is of limited use until you can find a USB on the go cable with a male to female and adapter like used by the Nokia N8 which isn't easy to come by. But should you find one of those you could plug in a USB peripheral that doesn't require high power into the USB port say a flash drive or maybe a self-powered drive that has an AC adapter of its own. Sorry the SD card slot driver update is not here yet. Motorola's Facebook page says it is coming soon. We are going to look at some neat new things though. First we're going to take a look at what's changed on the desktop. This stuff is the standard that you've seen before but we now have resizable widgets. For example here's my quick pick web browser thing and I can press and hold on that and you can see I get grab handles over here so I can resize this. Like so. Likewise here's my Gmail widget. Do the same thing. Can make it wider if I want, taller, shorter, all that kind of thing. So it's a small thing, but it really does help a lot because obviously for some things you want to have a lot of information on a widget, for others you don't want to take up that much space on the screen. Next we're going to take a look at the Android market because we now have support for movie rentals from Google. And you can see here, in addition to apps and books up top, we now have the movies tab. This is what the interface looks like. You've got this list of side-scrollable movies over here and then some more featured ones over here. As you can see, most HD movies are $4.99 for rentals. Some are cheaper, $3.99, and there's a non-HD option as well for rentals. So you can choose which you want. And we'll take a look at The King's Speech and that's what you're going to see. So you can rent it in HD for 5 bucks, rent it in standard definition for $4, you get a synopsis over here, you can read more by tapping on more. That shows you whatever is left of the paragraph or paragraphs. You've got related movies here, which to me seems to pick some pretty intelligent options, probably using Google's own search technology to come up with those things. And you can watch a trailer in pretty high quality right here, or a preview. And right now we're doing this over a Wi-Fi connection. And given the high quality, I would say that this is a 720p preview that we're looking at. Perhaps you should change jobs. And what if my husband were the king? My husband has seen everyone. It's a dominant tumor. Or the pregnancy. He hasn't seen me. I can kill your husband, but I need to trust him. So it looks great. What was your earliest man? So this is tied to the Gmail account that you use for your Zoom, so you could also access this using your computer and rent it over there and then choose to stream it down here when you actually want to watch the movie. So that's pretty sweet. It's certainly a good use of the large display that we have here on the Zoom, and it's nice to finally have an option for movie viewing because there was no third-party movie viewing application installed on the device. Speaking of movies, we're also going to take a look at another goodie that comes with Android 3.1, Flash 10.3 just came out, and that's recommended only for Honeycomb OS 3.1. So Zoom users once again win, because right now we're the only ones that are going to get that update. And that adds hardware acceleration, and in fact, we'll show you a whole lot of cool stuff that goes with that. We're going to go straight to YouTube's site in this case. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you one more new feature, which is the quick controls, which are now two-tier quick controls, and you can do by doing a zoom from the right or from the left and you can see you have two tiers of options over here you have access to every control you've got your bookmarks right here you've got close the browser you've got switch between windows reload go back go forward and so on and in this case we just want to access the URL bar so we can go to YouTube 
Now, if you don't like those quick controls, by the way, you can turn them on and off under settings, under the labs section of settings. So here we are on YouTube, and we're going to look for our high quality trailer, and we will pick the X Men trailer. So, this is the full desktop YouTube site we're on right now, not the mobile site. So if you've been using Flash, one thing that you know that the little pop-up down here, never the controls never really work. Guess what? Now they do. In fact, they also work on the LG G2X, which is a dual core. And I suspect it works on all the Tegra dual cores now. So when we touch here, it no longer flies away. We can switch resolutions, and we're going to switch to 720. 1080 still seems to baffle the zoom. Uh, that and YouTube generally doesn't stream consistently for 1080, it seems, anymore. No problem with that. Let's switch to full screen. Let it buffer up. And some more buffering. Can't fault the zoom for that. That's YouTube service. So finally, we've got hardware graphic acceleration for Flash for the Tegra 2 under Honeycomb 3.1. Nice. The last edition is the new music service. Now, we've downloaded the new beta that was available to us, but we haven't gotten an invitation yet to actually partake of the service. And then you can load up to 20,000 songs onto the cloud, onto Google servers, and stream them back, and they would appear just right in the midst of all the other albums that you have as well. So that's it for the big changes in Honeycomb 3.1 on the Motorola Zoom. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review.